here in Pennsylvania, in my state in Missouri, and across the country, we are facing a tremendous gap in the investment needed to repair and replace our bridges and the funds that we need to do our job. An analysis of the most recent data from the Federal Highway Administration shows that today it would cost a minimum of $140 billion to fix every deficiency on the nation's 590,000 bridges. Our baby boomer bridges are aging and they need a lot of work if we are going to keep them safe and ready for our future. One in four of the nation's more than 590,000 bridges is rated as either in need of repair or inadequate to handle today's traffic. In March, uh, middle of March, unfortunately, just up the road a bit, when unfortunately we had discovered a, a crack in a pier and in fact had to close down Interstate 95 for a period of almost three days, it was quite a, it was quite a difficult period. 184,000 vehicles a day had to, be, had to be detoured. If you took, a, took an aerial shot, you would have seen nobody on the, on the structure above us, but you would have seen these local streets just completely clogged. Unfortunately, that's not, that's not the end of it. A, a month earlier this year, another bridge in Pittsburgh had a, had a problem. The Birmingham Bridge in Pittsburgh had a seven inch drop over a pier and had to also be closed as the, as the rocker bearing systems fell down. That bridge was closed for about three weeks. Another 23,000 vehicles a day had to be detoured. Unfortunately, Pennsylvania has been a bit of a, a poster child for bridge, bridges with significant needs. On average, in, across the nation, the average age of a bridge is 43 years. In Pennsylvania, it's 51 years of age. And that helps to contribute to the kind of problem we've had. Despite tripling the amount of money that we have put into bridge construction over the last five years, from $250 million a year to, to over $700 million, the number of structurally deficient bridges has actually grown in Pennsylvania from a little over 5,500 to now a little over 6,000. It's, it's almost unconscionable, but it has, it's, a, it's completely understandable given the, the long age of our structures. And I, I wish the picture was, was only a Pennsylvania picture as uh, Director Pete Ron has pointed out, we've got a national problem that's very similar. We are fortunate in Pennsylvania in this last year, as a result of the Governor Rendell's leadership and the support of the legislature to have approved a $350 million bond issue that's going to allow us to take a chip off the top of this list of bridges. Our goal over the next year is to get 411 bridges into construction to be able to take that many off the top. That's the good news. The bad news is that we are going to still going to have 5,600 yet to go. So we've absolutely got to stick to our knitting and continue on a path over the next three years to make significant additional progress. The bottom line is that here in Pennsylvania and all across the nation, all levels of government are going to have to step up to meet the kinds of tremendous challenge that we've got in front of us. It's going to take political will, it's going to take innovation, and it's going to take a commitment to not allow our transportation system to crumble. The report released by AASHTO makes it abundantly clear that America has to get going and seriously consider all of its transportation infrastructure, but particularly the repair and revitalization of its bridges. $140 million nationwide and we believe, Secretary Bueller believes, that 14 billion of that, 140 billion, is our backlog here in Pennsylvania.
No matter how hard a state applies its efforts and its resources to this problem, it's never going to make enough of a dent without significantly and radically increased federal help. Secretary Beeler said that we've tripled the funding since I've been governor, the annual funding on bridges from over $250 million a year to over $700 million. On top of that, as you all know, one of the key points of this year's budget was an additional $350 million to be spent this year on bridge repair. That takes our total bridge money for this year over a billion dollars. When I, the year before I became governor, it was under 250 million. Notwithstanding that, we are barely making a dent in the backlog that's facing Pennsylvania's bridges. We have a legitimate crisis with these bridges. They're not sexy. People can't see them. Almost nobody driving on I-95 saw the crack in that pier. Most of you did, and it was pretty darn frightening. And we have got to get about doing this. Slightly under 250 was what we were spending in the 2002-2003 fiscal year. With the bond issue that the legislature runs, that will take us from 6,000 to 5,600. We need that type of sustained funding. There was a ton of private money that wanted to be invested into long-term assets like transportation assets. And when the market rebounds, there will be significant needs. On average, in across the nation, the average age of a bridge is 43 years. In Pennsylvania, it's 51 years. At least 50 percent. And oil has quadrupled in the last four years. It's a pleasure to be here, and I want to first thank Ashto for coming to Philadelphia for their conference, thank Pete for his great leadership, and say with great... We cannot do that. Our economy is just absolutely dependent on that kind of assistance.